Okay, in this example, uh, we want to write the domain and range uh, of a function represented by uh, a graph. Um, and we've done this already in several previous examples. So um, um, the only thing different in this example is we want to write the domain and range in uh, using interval notation uh, as opposed to uh, using words or using an inequality like we've done it in the previous examples. All right, so uh, let's start first by... Um, uh, trying to write down the domain. So let's examine the graph here, uh, in particular the extent of the graph along the x-axis. And we can see uh, because the graph is not explicitly terminated on the left uh, with an open or closed dot, uh, we know that the graph extends um, indefinitely to the left on the x-axis, or in other words to minus infinity uh, on the x-axis, along the x-axis. And, um, and then on the right-hand side, uh, the graph is terminated uh, at x equals 5 with this um, open dot. Um, so that means that the um, graph terminates here uh, along the x-axis at uh, positive 5. Uh, so that tells us that the domain of this function is going to extend from uh, negative infinity uh, up to uh, positive 5, uh, but not including uh, positive 5 because there's an open circle here um, on the right-hand side that terminates the graph. So we can use... Um, uh, any x value uh, as input uh, to this function uh, uh, from negative infinity up to uh, positive 5. All right, so let's write that set uh, using interval notation. So um, this domain set begins at minus infinity um, on the left-hand side. And so that's going to be one of the boundary values for the domain. Um, if we write it using interval notation. And then the domain extends to uh, positive 5. Um, um, as a maximum, uh, uh, is the maximum value um, in the domain. So 5 is a, a boundary value for the domain on the right-hand side. Of course, now, um, using uh, interval notation, uh, since a negative infinity is not actually a real number, uh, we cannot, of course, in actually include that in the domain, so we would put an, a parenthesis uh, beside uh, this boundary value minus infinity. And then, again, although 5 is a boundary value for the domain, uh, because this uh, we have the graph terminated with an open dot on the right-hand side, uh, that means also that 5 is not included in the domain. Uh, so the domain extends to positive 5, but doesn't actually include uh, positive 5. So I'm going to put a parenthesis also here uh, beside the 5. Uh, so here's our domain. Uh, it's all real numbers between negative infinity and positive 5. Uh, not including positive 5. So you could also say uh, the domain is uh, numbers, uh, real numbers less than uh, positive 5. All right, now let's try writing the range. So uh, let's look at the extent of the graph along the y-axis to see what output values we get uh, from this function. And we can see that the minimum output value uh, corresponds to this point on the graph. That would be 0 um, is the minimum output value uh, that we get from this function uh, that matches an input of positive 2. Uh, but there is not going to be any maximum output value because again here on the left hand side um, since the graph is not explicitly terminated uh, this uh, we uh, are given to understand that this uh, uh, graph continues uh, indefinitely uh, upward um, uh, and so uh, the uh, set of output values would extend all the way to positive infinity along the y-axis. All right, so how can we write that set uh, in uh, interval notation, that set from 0 to positive infinity? Uh, that's the set of output values or the range from this uh, function. So the range begins at 0 uh, and extends to positive infinity. Uh, so our output values inc include all numbers between 0 and positive infinity. Um, I think here including 0, uh, because 0 is the output that uh, matches the input 2. So 0 is actually part of the range. It's actually an output value uh, for this function. Uh, but of course, um, we cannot include uh, a positive infinity in the set since this is not a real number. So we would put a square bracket beside the 0 and uh, parenthesis there beside the infinity so here's the range of our function, uh, all numbers between 0 and positive infinity, including 0. So another way of uh, writing that set would be to say um, this is the set of non-negative um, real numbers.